Okay, welcome to this video everyone. So today we're going to be doing the 2009 question 3C from the Hills Grammar 4 unit trial. Okay, and so the question says, let alpha, beta and gamma be the roots of the equation x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x minus 1 equals 0. And it wants you to form an equation whose roots are 1 on alpha, 1 on square root of alpha, 1 on square root of beta, and 1 on root gamma. Okay, so if we know that alpha, beta, and gamma are the roots of this equation, that means alpha, beta, and gamma satisfy that equation. And so we have alpha cubed minus 2 alpha squared minus 5 alpha minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so we have that. Um, but now we want x equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of uh, alpha, not a, alpha, <clears throat> to satisfy some equation. We don't know what the equation is yet, but we want it to satisfy that equation. Okay, so if we simplify this to get alpha in terms of x, instead of x in terms of alpha, we can square both sides, and then we just rearrange and get alpha as the subject, and we get alpha equals 1 over x squared. And so, alright, let's call this a star. And so we sub alpha equal to 1 over x squared into star. And this is what we get. So we get 1 over x squared, or cubed, minus 2 times 1 over x squared, squared, minus 5 times 1 over x squared, minus 1 is equal to 0. Alright. Now, this is 1 over x to the power 6, minus 2 times 1 over x to the power 4, minus 5 times 1 over x squared, minus 1, equal to 0. Okay, now we can multiply through by x to the power 6. Okay, so we get 1 minus 2x squared, because this is x to the 4 here, minus 5x to the 4, because that's x to the 2 there, minus x to the 6 is equal to 0. And so, therefore, x to the 6 plus 5x to the 4 plus 2x squared minus 1 equals 0 has roots 1 over the square root of alpha, 1 over the square root of beta, 1 over the square root of gamma. Now, you might be thinking, this has root, This has three roots here, but it's a power of six, so we, so we should be expecting it to have six different roots. Well, it actually does have six different roots, and they are actually plus or minus of these. And the reason that we get this plus or minus is because here, when we squared uh, both sides, that considers the case where it's also negative, so if this was a negative, we can still square it and get to this. So that's why this actually has six different roots, which are plus or minus of these three other roots, which are same in magnitude. So anyway, that's your final answer. Hope you enjoyed the video.